my government. <laughs> I'm not worried about the impact that this hate crime bill's having in the arts, are you? It's fucking brilliant here, isn't it? Okay, absolutely no bother. Although I have noticed that, um, did you hear that the end of the trilogy in Irvin Welsh's work has been cancelled? The filming of it is, is not happening anymore because of the hate crime bill. And I'm gutted because I wanted to find out what happened when Begbie discovered his own true authentic self and moved... <laughs> and moved to the seaside. And um, it was set in Troon, and it's called Tranny Spotting. <laughs> it's not happening. You don't get to find out. Now, tranny's a difficult word. I'm surprised you laughed. I thought I would get into trouble with that. You can't even say that. And um, you can't, you know, like before you know it, you've accidentally committed a hate crime. <laughs> There is one place you're allowed to say tranny, and I know that some of you guys in here are fans of Pornhub, but it is... <laughs> where tranny porn was number two best in the, the hit list of the search engine, but it's now number 23. Do you know what's number two at the moment on Pornhub? MILF. <laughs> there are some men in this room in a state of distress because they're fucking surrounded. <laughs> There are some mouth-breathing masturbators in here that can't believe their luck. <laughs> and you're right, we could. <laughs> you would like it as well, but you would die. <laughs> we don't need amateurs. Um, so it's gone really complicated. Um, last weekend, I was at a medical conference um, for which I needed a police escort. <laughs> because apparently it's offensive to discuss whether it's a good idea or not to sterilise ch autistic children. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. This, it got a bit spicy. This um, person got right in my face and um, this person was very angry and very large and very male. <laughs> You know, <laughs> careful now, darling, or I'll milf you. <laughs> he looked the type, you know, the one that looks like a breeze block in a frock. <laughs> in my face. Shouting at me with a voice deeper than Loch Lomond. I'm better at blowjobs than you are. <laughs> I don't doubt that, darling. <laughs> and he went, what? And I said, well, you're much bigger than me and your lung volume is much bigger. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume that you can do a harder, longer suit than my pathetic little lady lungs can. <laughs> and I'm no expert, but I think that might be an advantage. So well done you for spotting the sex difference. <laughs> He was me chuffed. Now, nothing that I've said so far has been a hate crime because in the legislation, if you want to commit a hate crime, you need to have yourself a spurtle. <laughs> the legislation says that there's an element in it of stirring up. <laughs> so if you haven't brought your granny spurtle, and for the people who aren't, Eat porridge eaters. This is what you would use to stir your porridge. So if I say women don't have penises, that's not a hate crime because I didn't stir. <laughs> but if I say women don't have penises with the stirring and you're upset by that, I'm going to judge you. <laughs> Because facts aren't hate, words aren't violence, and the advice to toughen up Buttercup is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not accurate, though, to say that women don't have penises, because there was a woman called Lorena Bobbitt that had one very briefly. <laughs> She had one briefly and she threw it out the car window. <laughs> I, mean, I think you'll agree there's a lesson in that for us all. <laughs> now, 
Obviously, I am female, which means I was assigned unimportant at birth. <laughs> but I've just found out that, in fact, I'm trans. I know, it's a shock to me as well. A man who thinks he's got a gender told me that he has woman essence, and that's important. And I thought, help my bob. <laughs> For I do not know what you mean by woman's essence, but I'm the mother of sons, and children are messy little fuckers. And after you birth them from your body, they leave cells behind in your system. It's called um, microchimerism. It's really cool. You must have a Google. Women's bodies are amazing. So it means, it means that because I've had boys, I've got male cells bobbing about in my blood system, which probably is male essence. So I think that I am actually transgender and therefore protected under the legislation. <laughs> and if, if you're a woman with an opinion and you've ever birthed a baby boy, you are too. <laughs> so I emailed Holmes' office, but they didn't know the answer. <laughs> The legislation does protect cross-dressers and, you know, I'm quite busy. I'm not sure I've got time to spend seven years in jail, jail so I've taken the precaution of dressing as a man. <laughs> I have on trousers and a sports top and the most masculine thing I could find in the house. <laughs> My husband's tool belt and I tell you, it's absolutely fucking brilliant. It's got space in it for my spurtle and my lucky merkin. <laughs> a joke about um, <laughs> about Merkins, but you know, you can't talk. It was a democratic right to protest. So I thought I'd make a joke about the hate crime monsters, Merkin. <laughs> but I can't do it right. Check this out. <laughs> Does that not look like Ross Greer was vagina dentated? <laughs> a quality joke, but it relies on two things. One, you know what vagina dentata is, and two, you know who Ross Greer is. Vagina dentata is a myth that's um, about vaginas with teeth that bite off the penises of men that are horrible to women. And Ross Greer is a Scottish politician. He's a, a green MSP. <laughs> And he sometimes gets called the Ginger Muppet. <laughs> Which isn't very nice to say, but as yet, mockery is not a crime in Scotland, so enjoy it while I can. Um, oh, I've lost my place. I've got notes because I'm menopausal. I can't remember a fucking thing. You see what's in the back of it, so? Who was his little rainbow book? <laughs> oh, anyway, so do you know what should be a hate crime? Calling my fanny a bonus hole. <laughs> Vaginas are not voids, they're organs, and they're dead responsive, especially if my husband does something that I really, really like. He does this, he does this amazing thing where he, like, Sweet talks me with the exemptions from the 2010 Equality Act. It's absolutely filthy. It gets me juiced up no end. It's bloody brilliant. So in response to neurotic stimulus, a vagina lengthens and widens and lubricates itself in readiness for the insertion of a penis. I know, I'm sorry, my lesbian sisters. Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid the rest of you can be as same-sex attracted as you like. Your fanny has evolved to behave like Pac-Man going, I want cock, I want cock. There's nothing you can do about it. Your fanny's heteronormative, just that, you know, email Charles Darwin, it's not my fault. <laughs> Now, neo-vaginas are not the same as vaginas. They don't do any of the cool stuff that fannies do, like, you know, self-cleaning. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, because the people who have that surgery belong to the sex class who aren't very good at washing their hands after they've had a jobby. <laughs> it's not 
ideal. These people are completely blinded by Venus envy. They're trying to emulate something they just don't fucking understand at all. And it's not actually their fault because the bodies of 52% of the population are generally quite misunderstood. I know we're not, we're not even a minority. Um, <laughs> and who knows how many of us there could be if only the men could stop killing us. <laughs> yeah, 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 not all men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's never been a transphobic hate crime in Scotland that's been convicted, which is why there isn't the tartan tomb of the unknown torture. <laughs> it's not a thing. <coughs> I've got no fear of what happens after this set because while the pastel people were busy no debating, the women were skilling up. <laughs> up in jail and it might be with a rapist. He won't be convicted rapist um, because leggings and children and drunks tell the truth as Nicola found out. And I have, the, I have an ability to talk men into impotence. It'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> the women have no time, no money and no resources, despite which we get rid of a first minister. women just taught Leo Varadkar a hard lesson. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a hat trick. My name's Lloyd Miller. Good